All right, seventh grade, lesson 22. This one is on problems about a fraction of a group. Now, whenever you hear um, a word problem and they're using a ratio or a fraction, um, I want you to learn to try to start illustrating. For example, it says uh, two-thirds of the fans wore green to the game. So I want you to picture two-thirds. So automatically you know you're going to do three because two-thirds, you're going to have three different portions. And so this amount wore green. So I'm just going to put green. So two-thirds wore, wore green to the game. Now listen to this. Then they tell us two-thirds of the 200... 70 fans wore green to the game. So, this many wore green, and I don't know, the rest wore white or whatever. Okay, but how many fans are there total? So, a total would combine all three sections of people, whether they were wearing green or mixed, okay, or white or whatever. So, if there are 270 fans... Okay, how much is in each portion? Well, hopefully you see that there are three portions. So, 270 divided by 3 is going to end up getting you 90. Okay, so we know that 90 were in this group, 90 were in this group, and 90 were in this group. And those three added together equals 270 people or fans. So, how many wore green? 90 plus 90, or 90 times 2, is going to give us 180. So that's how you're going to begin to figure out and work these kind of problems out. Okay? Let's do another one. Okay, just to kind of get you thinking. I'm going to use black this time. The next one says, two-fifths of the 30 singers in the choir are boys. All right? Hopefully you heard two-fifths. So I'm going to make fifths. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Yes. Okay? So two fifths of the choir are boys. And there are two fifths of the 30 singers. So this gives us a total of 30 singers. And two of the five are boys. You see how I'm labeling all that? Okay, now how are we going to determine? How much is in each of the groups? There are five different portions broken up. So six is in each group. Six, 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 and six equals 30. But how many are boys? Okay, how many are boys? Six and six. That would mean that there are 12 boys in the choir. But we can also figure out how many were girls since you're either gonna have boys or girls in the choir. So how many are girls? Well. These two two fifths are boys, that means that three fifths are girls, so six three times is 18. So there are 12 boys and 18 girls. See how we did that? All right, let's do one more and then we'll be done. All right, here's what this one says Brittany correctly answered 80%. Of the 40. Now this one happens to be percent, okay? Um, so because we're working with percent, um, what I want you to see is that how are we going to break this into? Well, hopefully, since you see this is 80, let's do it by 10%. So what do you think about that? So I'm actually going to have, I'm going to do my best. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. So if there are ten percent in each one of these, then there this makes up one hundred percent. Hopefully you've recognized that we at least need to have a hundred percent of something. Okay, since we're working with percent. So as I was saying, we've got our hundred percent. Now, then here's what it says. Brett correctly answered eighty percent of the forty questions. So how many did the um how much did the test have? 40 questions total. Out of 100%, there were 40 total. So, I'm also going to put 40 right here to show that 40 problems. So, um, if I had 40 problems and I have 10 different spaces to break it up into, 
10 goes into 40 four times. So each of these have four questions. Hopefully you can see that. Okay? And four 10 times make 40 total questions. Now, if she answered 80% of the 40 questions correctly, well, this would be 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So 90 and 100, there's 20% that she did not answer correctly. But how many does that make up? Well, that is 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of them. And there's four questions in each, and 8 times 4 is 32. Okay? So she answered 32 problems correctly. Okay? How many did she miss? 4 plus 4 is 8. So she got 32 out of 40 correctly, which gave her an 80 um, as a grade, 80%. And then she got, she missed 8, minus 8. See that? So she missed 20% of the problems. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, let's try to do it another way. And I'm just going to show you this really quickly. Okay? If they told us that, let's see, uh, Britt correctly answered 80% of the 40 questions. Percent of the 40. Okay? Another way you could have done this is instead of breaking it um, into uh, tens for 100, what you could have done is gone 80 out of 100, okay, and divided that. Let's reduce it as much as we can, and we would get 8 out of 10. But then let's reduce that even more. 2 will go into 8 4 times, 2 will go into 10 5 times. That gives us a chart of... One, two, three, four, five. Five, okay? So we can read this again, that he got four out of five correct. 80% of the 40, four out of the five correct. So if this was all 40, and I divided that by five, I know that there are eight in each one, because eight times five is 40, okay? And that she got four of the five. One, two, three, four. Again, eight times one, two, three, four is 32, and then what did she miss? The one-fifth of it, okay? So it kind of depends on how you want to do it. I'm okay with either one, but that kind of gives you a breakdown. If you want to do smaller amounts, like five, you can reduce it to a chart that you can work with, four out of five, or 80 out of 100, or eight out of 10, which is what we did earlier, okay? So that is lesson 22.